Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608. Today, I am playing Starmie, and I've done a little work on the battleship. I'm continuing to call it a battleship, until I determine it is not really. Let's see, what work have I done? I have, well, I don't know exactly what I've done since I saw you last. I've done bits and pieces here and there. I've added a hallway in the science lab area. Oh yeah, isn't that nice? I've also... I don't know why I'm opening this door. I'm in build mode. I can fly through walls. I've also um, done up the reception area. I believe you've already seen that. But now there are doors and hallways and stuff in the um, in the medical bay. Hey, okay, let's... Nah, we can do it from here. Um, the receptionist is the only one that can open these doors on this side. So that one there, and then that one there. But you can open and close the door from the side if you so desire. This is, I probably need some sort of label here, but this is the um, beds. I have nine beds in this room. Nine beds in this room. You just stack them up in here. Then six just little medical beds. Or medical rooms. Room for more like intensive care type deal. I believe I have all these lights working properly. That took me forever because something got cross wired like this. Okay. My bad. That one's not working. That one's fine. And. Okay. So I have one bad light or one bad room. Oh. Mark this. We know that, hey, I need to do some of the lights there. And then this way is the doctor's area. Uh, an immediate left. Now, this door is special because this door can be opened and closed during lockdown. Now, when a lockdown happens, which is this button here, because I figured the receptionist to the medical bay really needs to be able to lock things down, can't open these doors. Oh, or can you? I don't think you can. Nope, these doors won't open. That light needs to be fixed. But this one will. It's not tied to the uh, the lockdown controls. Why not? Oh, well, we'll see that in just a moment. Uh, let's turn off lockdown. Because down this way is the rec room for the doctors and medical staff. Standard rec room. Then we have medical living quarters, which are just a bunch of bunks, basically. And they've lost their data. Let's see, and is, 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 is this fixed properly? Okay, that's fine. I had it set up somehow. I don't know where I, what I did or how I did it, but one of those buttons was closing both doors. So, a couple of bathrooms. There are ten bunks here. Then, down this way is two escape pods. That's why that door doesn't lock. So, if you need be, you can evacuate everyone to the escape pods. Unless, of course, they're trapped in here, then they're just due. All right. Now, let's turn this off, and we'll actually examine our rooms here. I have four exam rooms, which are basically my medical rooms. I think they're just four. Yep, they're just four. Then I have the operating theater, which is a room for operating. And you can turn the lights off and the central overhead light for better seeing when you're operating. Uh, there are no red lights in here. Red alert does not affect this room because the people in here have something. Or, or they're already on red alert because they have someone on the table. Probably not doing very well. And let's see here, scanner room. Oh, I like this room. This is the scanner room. I know it's not very pretty, but we'll get there one day. And so you lay the subject there. There's the scannery thing. Console. And then behind all this protection is the scanner controls. And there we go. And it scanners. Let's we'll skip through the glass and watch it. It goes down and back and blinks every so often. A little light 
lights up the room and flashes and all that jazz. And here's the circuitry to control all that. Fits lovely in between the uh, two levels. That's why I left this five space, so I can do things like that. All right, let's see. Then we come down this way, a couple bathrooms on one side. Probably need to put a side indicator. And got the Morgan autopsy. Got a couple autopsy tables with workbenches and body coolers. And I I popped this one open to sort of tell you what they are. So I hope that gives the um, impression of what it is. And I added some fans because you really want circulation in this room. Don't really want it to get all stagnant. Alright. That is what I've done at this level. Let's, let's actually take these out and see if we can figure out what's going on with this room. Ooh. No, it's not bad. Right, so let's just rip this out, grab you. We're going to do it that way. And then, uh, why are you into this, no, you into this and. No. Why are you into this not, which is why are into the and. And why are you into the and, and the and controls, oh, we can make sure that's set properly. There you go. And then we are going to lock down. And we're going to find the appropriate. There we go. That works close enough. All right. So that was a bit hacky, but uh, I'll live. Um, I get lost in here now. Turn off red alert. All right. And what else have I done? I have finished the elevators. Yes, I am going through the hallways and the elevators in build mode, so that way I don't get lost as as much. Well, officers, not officers' quarters. Officers' quarters? I'm on the wrong side. Uh, offices. I've done a little work here. By little work, I mean I've extended the hallway and I've added six of these big offices. And I, I think I built this on camera hundred years ago. Well, there's six of them. Probably going to terminate, or this hallway's going to terminate with the captain's office. I wanted to do it so it, uh, <coughs> excuse me, so it um, lined up and could have a window, but doesn't look like I'm going to do that, which is fine. Then I've extended these two elevators down to this level and this level. That one probably should go down one more. What is this? This is, oh, this one's hangers, and this one's engineering. Hangers, uh, probably going to sweep this way and this way, set up hangers here and here, and then have a train system that runs, and some access corridors that run down this way to the forward hangers. And engineering is going to be mostly RP junk that sits... Uh, I'm going to sling it, well, we'll probably sling it backwards and get like a big engine room, and then sling it forward and put in system rooms. Probably what we're going to end up doing. But, um, I should really fix up my science bay and all that jazz before we really, really get started on that. So I would like to finish a level before I start in the next one, except for the hub. I'm just going to throw down the hub because, because reasons. All right, so there we go. That is the battleship. And thinking about extending this out and turning the top of the gymnasium into a garden. Or a garden area for... Um, for multi-purpose, it'll be to grow food and oxygen, basically. So it'll be a garden for morale and whatnot, a pretty place in the 
in the uh, on the ship, but it'll also be food and oxygen generation in case this vessel's in a very, very long mission or stranded out in space. The crew doesn't starve to death. Not that there those mechanics are in the star maybe, but we can play. It's an RP ship. We can pretend. Use our imagination. <laughs> It's like there's something else cool I wanted to show you, but I forgot what it was. Hmm. Oh, in uh, science. What sciencey templates do I have? Do I have like a lab or something? Let's see. Uh, waffle bomb, burner bunk, this first room, operation theater, hospital bed, lab. What's in the lab? I don't remember building a lab. Uh, looks like the door is on that side, so let's just throw a lab. Oh, it's a chocolate one. Right there. Oh, it's this lab. Oh, it's my, uh, scantron matic Forgot about the scantron matic Alright, we'll take this lab. Let's rip that out. Uh, ripped out too much. There we go. Save us from doing too much work. Let's see, then we're gonna call that not that. Call that lab A. And let's grab a door. Two half. There we go. So science, we have lab A. With the scantron chromatic. Science. Science. Ooh, 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 no, no, no. I wanted to confirm the science. There you go. And scan results. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. That's better. What did you do? I added a space and, and saved it. Sometimes you bring templates in. Well, even when you don't sometimes bring templates in, it just doesn't work quite right. Probably need to wire this up for red alert as well. Uh, probably need to wire up these hallways for red alert because I don't believe that they. Oh no no they are wired up okay so we'll just tap off the high one or the uh, hallway to make the um, appropriate adjustments. Uh, we'll just use this one. And then... Steal the logic. So this hallway will control the the um that's not what I wanted. That is also not what I wanted. Why are those blocks? Uh here. here. Yeah, that's good. Um let's do a knot and an and I did not need to do those separately. Uh, an and and a oh no, that is not good. Does that run? No, that runs through ugly. So we're in a knot there. There we go. And an and run that there. All right, now now this and will control these lights. Don't you have them set up to be controlled by the other thing? Yes, but lights can only be controlled by one logic at a time, so they will uh, deselect when when the time comes. Oops. And let's um, rectify that. There we go. No clue what that is. We're just gonna that doorway. <laughs> All right, now let's grab some of these red lights and attach them to this. And what is so? What is are those? Those is order lights. Well, why did you do that? Oh, does that? 
Well, that lights up pretty good, but let's do another set. And how about there? Okay. Well, that lights up pretty good, so let's sure this. So, red alert is on, it turns off the lights, turns on the lights. Red alert is off, it turns off the lights and turns on the lights, and I can turn on off the lights with the switch. Right. Close the door. Awesome. And let's also set that up so red alert forces this door closed. Of course, coming out of red alert opens it, but it can be open and closed. All right. Hmm, do I really want that? Nah, we will take it for now. And so we have a lab done. Not the best lab on Earth, but it is a lab. And... Those two, well, we basically did that. Oh, we fixed a light in the, uh, in a medical room. Uh, medical room B. Which, for some reason, has randomly chosen, no, no, that's A, B. Let's see down there. What is that D? Okay. Uh, medical room, no data. Idiot named these. Alright. I'm not getting too uh, excited over the, um, the, the display blocks, because for whatever reason, they're not particularly stable. Well, I am very happy with my, uh, medical bay and my extra elevators. Not happy with my science yet. Science is not going to be a huge part. Probably going to have another lab and maybe an office. It's not going to be a huge department because it's not really a science vessel. It's more of a... Yes, it is sort of a science vessel. It's, this is going to be like a RP... Um, jack of all trades. Command ship, even. Able to sustain these 110... 121... 121 crew members. So 100 basic crew, 11 officers, including the captain, and 10 medical staff. 121? 60, yeah, 121. Hmm. Anywho. Oh, plus guests. I don't have any guest levels yet. Anywho, I have been JW608. This has been Starman. And I will do you cats later.